Hello and welcome to Jana Brock's Bunny Talks. I'm Jana and today I want to make a short video about the spaces and holes in bars, fencing, pet enclosures, toys you might have at home, all those things that pet rabbit owners need to either provide a primary space for their rabbit or even outdoors when you take them out for exercise and play in the in a fenced yard. I just, just want to show you how, how size matters when it comes to uh, pet fencing and the, the spaces and bars between, I guess for lack of a better way of saying it, between the between one another in the pet fencing and the enclosures that you use. I'm not going to use one of my real bunnies for this because it would be a safety concern. But what I will do is use the stuffed, stuffed animal that's about the size of, oh, I don't know, somewhere between the size of a small Holland Lop Rabbit and a mini Lop Rabbit. So maybe four or five to six pounds. I want to show you in these wire panels that I use for some of the primary enclosures for the house rabbits that I have here full time, how this little stuffed animal rabbit could very easily get its head through. The problem is getting its head back out. Now, uh, rabbits will start to panic and thrash around, which could result in broken spines, fractured spines, a broken neck, and worst case scenario, the rabbit suffers immensely and then dies. And in you know other scenarios, you could have a very high vet bill from a hurt rabbit, uh, just because a rabbit will always try to put its head through a space that's smaller then he should be able to get his head through if if that makes any sense and and experienced rabbit owners know this to be true they will find any little space or hole and try to get through it the problem is getting back out especially when their whole body uh, won't fit through a good rule of thumb is for your pet rabbit if your rabbits if if any bit of your rabbit's head goes past the nose when you're uh, you know when you're trying to figure out what size of pet fencing to get or what size of bars to get on maybe even a play tunnel or enclosure or a rabbit house, make sure his snout or the nose cannot get past, like it should stop at his cheeks. He shouldn't be able to get his head through any space, any hole, any cutout in any cardboard box or castle or how, you know, rabbit house, nothing. There shouldn't be any space or hole that he can go, get past his nose. Again, demonstrating with the stuffed animal can get his head through, but if this were a real rabbit, he would try to get himself back out because his shoulders aren't going through there. So naturally he's gonna start panicking because he's gonna get stuck at the ears, usually. Some of the videos that have been released online from veterinary um, technicians, who work for exotic pet specialists that have the rabbit specialty on top of their exotic pet uh, specialist. Those people that work with house rabbits over and over and over and over and actually have that specialty, they will tell you that they see rabbits that have broken spines and broken necks and have to be put to sleep because of this very problem. So rule of thumb, don't get any anything that has any space that your rabbit can shove his head through. And, and because backing back out and getting back out is going to, you know, cause a significant risk to the safety of your pet rabbit. Another safety concern that I've noticed, I've seen some videos where people use these little stacking plastic shelves for rabbit tunnels. And I think that's an excellent idea. I've used these for years. Uh, they're safe for your rabbit. Your rabbit can't, you know, easily chew a hole in them and get little pieces down his throat. They are fairly safe and fairly solid. But if you look at the top, they have holes where the next stackable shelf goes up, where, where you put the four little pegs to stack another shelf and another shelf, and you keep building them up however tall you want these plastic stackable shelves. If these is a great idea, the rabbits love these. They like to climb on top of them, lay, under, lay beneath them. But take something that's thick like this uh, carpeting that I got. I think I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's a very thick uh, there's a very thick plastic backing on it and very sturdy low pile carpet on the front. Cut it down to size and cover those holes up. Use a very short, tiny screw so that the screw can't go too far through the the other side where the rabbit's going to be. You wouldn't want the rabbit sniffing around and cutting his nose or mouth on the other side of the sharp side of the screw as it goes through. But you can just put four screws on the corners, tack 
it down solidly so that when your rabbit hops up on top, number one, remember rabbits have furry paws, no padding on their feet, no traction whatsoever. So you don't want him hopping up on top and sliding around because that could actually uh, cause him significant injury. And the second thing is you want, you don't want him to hop up there and get his paws stuck down in those holes because he's going to thrash around, try to get free as quickly as possible. And it's going to result in a broken leg or a fractured spine. Or again, you're back to square one with an injury so bad that he might be able, you know, that you might have to make a, a really hard decision. And at the end of the day, of course, you don't want your rabbit to suffer. So if you're going to use these little stackable things, make sure you get something that's sturdy enough to cover all four holes and provide some kind of traction on the top. Remember to keep your rabbit safe. Not all videos that get, you know, hundreds of thousands of views or tens of thousands of views on video or on YouTube or on Facebook or Instagram. Not all of those very popular rabbit videos are safe. Some of them should be taken down completely um, because you see this sort of thing where a rabbit owner's got a cute little rabbit and a really big following on a social media account. But unfortunately, they, if you if you look around at the setups they have for their rabbits, a lot of those things are very could be very harmful and very damaging. And honestly, and sadly, it's a matter of time before before their little bunny gets hurt. So so remember to bunny proof your home, keep your rabbit safe. As always, be kind to animals and thank you for caring. Mm -hmm.